So guys, obviously there is no free and fair market. Let me give you some numbers. So AMC this morning was put on hold when reaches 17% gains. While at the very same moment we have Magic Empire Global was put it on hold for 117% gains. They let the other stock, Magic Empire Global, to run additional 100% before they put the stock on hold. Why they don't let AMC to run additional 100% before they put the stock on hold? And obviously this is not the single most important thing that is bugging me today. Obviously a lot of broker apps will fail to deliver the dividend in the form of a share. A lot of them already saying that they will simply distribute a cash equivalent of the share. How the heck is that even possible? Well, some of the apps don't allow trading preferred stocks. We all know preferred stocks are different than the common stock. Which are these brokers? Well, on the previous videos, I received uh, messages from people who are using interactive broker. And as you can see over here, they will simply receive a cash dividend. They won't receive the actual share. And I also saw messages from Robinhood support saying that they don't allow trading preferred stocks on the platform. Simply clear visual, a lot of these broker apps will fail to deliver the actual Ape share, which is very, very important. Having the security in the form of a stock such as Ape is much more important than any cash equivalent simply because people are not seeking to cash out most likely right we're speculating we know every time when you deal with human being you don't know what to expect but we are assuming that people are after the the effect by the holding the ape for the real amc shares they're not after the price fluctuation in between the bot securities so what you have to do i know for sure, Webu will be distributing the Ape as a share, right? Uh, what you have to do, you gotta reach out the support, uh, go after TD Ameritrade, go after Fidelity, uh, any other big or small broker app that you're using. I know people internationally are using different small platforms that I never heard of. Go reach out the support and ask them in what shape or form they will be able to deliver your dividend from holding AMC shares. This is very important, guys. Some of these apps not offering you the actual share doesn't mean that they're involved in some manipulation. It's it's normal. As you can see over here, if you Google the topic, you will see that not all online brokerages offer preferred stock. Uh, preferred stock is not something right common, right? Not everyone has or own a preferred stock. It's unusual, usually. You know, people who are uh, involved deeply in the company, uh, larger investors, because it's like a it's like a VIP uh, equity in the company. It's not something that everyone wants to have or or usually can have. Simply because having a preferred stock usually gives you additional rights that put you in better position than the holders of the common stock. What this actually means, well. You will be receiving your dividend prior everyone else. Usually your dividend payment is higher than the common stock. Uh, usually in case of liquidation or bankruptcy of the company, when the assets of the company are liquidated, simply because you had a preferred stock equity, you will receive uh, some portion of it while liquidation is in process. So there are a lot of benefits towards this. But the point over here is that all these main reasons are one of the main reasons why some of these online broker apps don't support allow trading of the preferred stocks. So this is why go ahead, reach out support on the apps that you're using. I know people are holding stocks within different platforms. It's not just one platform. So I know <laughs> it's a lot of work. Just copy and paste the email that you're going to create for the first one and reach out to them and see how it's going to work and screenshot everything. Going back to the price action on Friday, I asked people, are we going towards $34? Why $34 exact? Well, there was a certain gap. The idea over here is that today the stock didn't even hit 30 and was put on hold. 27 bucks 50. 
That was it. Game over for the exchange. We cannot, we cannot handle it. We have to put the stock on hold. So I think it's very, very likely. Sure, there was definitely a pumping, especially pre-market 10%, pre-market hours 1.1 to 3 to 5 million. It was unbelievable. Again, don't forget that this pumping most likely will continue all the way towards August 15. There will be a lot of people taking profits on top of all the option traders. We will have a lot of day traders. So bear this in mind. We might actually see the whole week having a very, very good volume. I, I don't see why 30 hours should be impossible for this week. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.